Peace, this is Aras and Malik. Um, this video is just going to be a review of the new Aquaman movie. So I got to see it this past weekend on Saturday because I got pre-release tickets. So I went with a few family members and friends to go check out this movie. And those of you, uh, a, lot, a lot of you don't know this, but Aquaman is my favorite superhero. So it was really special for me to actually be able to see my favorite superhero on the big screen because I never would have thought that this would have happened, you know, because with the, with the reputation Aquaman has, nobody really expects much from him, but I really think that this film delivered. So just a little bit about that and how he's my favorite superhero. Um, a lot of you may be wondering, well, it goes back to when I was a child, uh, not child, but when I was uh, in high school, like about 15 years old, I was really big into basketball growing up and I played on the team in high school. But then my sophomore year, I got cut and it was pretty devastating for me. Uh, but by that time, I was kind of um, getting bored with basketball. So what I thought to myself was, I'm going to try something different. And what I did was, since it was the winter season, I tried out for the swim team. And the reason for that is because literally that summer, Young Justice had just premiered on Cartoon Network. And for those of you who remember, Young Justice had a um, a black lead uh, character in there. His name was Aqualad, which is Aquaman's sidekick. He was probably the, the first, uh, maybe not the first, but one of the main black superheroes that I've seen on TV and television that really influenced me um, to do something out of the ordinary. And three years after that, I was going, you know, to state finals and really going from someone who barely knew how to swim, because I, I always knew how to swim ever since I was three, to, you know, doing big things like that. So that was all because, you know, of that representation, that black representation on TV. So that goes to all the um, people out there, you know, the kids and the parents and the teachers, black representation and characters matters because it can really, you never know who it can influence and who, whose life it can change. So uh, enough about that, about, and about me and getting sentimental. Let's get into this movie. So I think that this movie was great off, off, off rip. I just need to say that. Um, I had a few things that I didn't like about it, but for the most part, it was an it was a it was a nice movie. My first reaction to it was it was very very fast paced. Um, one in the action, and two most importantly, it was fast paced as far as the storytelling. Like the story went by zip zip zip, like it was real quick, you know. And uh, I think for a lot of new fans, which I'm sure the majority of the people seeing this movie are new Aquaman fans. It kind of does them justice, but for people that already know his story and everything, you know, and kind of wanted something new story-wise, I didn't really deliver. But for most people that are new, it, it did a great job of um, uh, of telling the story of Arthur Curry of Aquaman, and it reminds me of the animated movie um, that recently came out, the Justice League Throne of Atlantis movie. It reminds me so much, like the story and the vibe of it was the same as that animated movie where you have, it starts as with Arthur Curry actually being an adult. You know, he, he it, didn't, it doesn't start with, you know, any origin. It starts with him as an adult living in, uh, in, in Maine and him already knowing he has his powers, um, but, you know, not really doing anything with it. You know, he's seen in the bar, getting into fights and, you know, they kind of did a nod to that scene in this movie too, but they kind of twisted it. I won't tell you what happens with that. I won't spoil it, but, um, but yeah, they kind of just ripped off that movie, you know, um, then I was really surprised that, um, well, not really, but I was really surprised that how they incorporated Black Manta into it because Black Manta, even though he's the villain, I really rock with Black Manta because his son Aqualad is the reason why I even got into Aquaman. So, and plus, he's a he's a black character. You know what I mean? There's very few black superheroes or supervillains um, out there, so I have to rock with him automatically. And plus, his backstory is pretty cool. Um, the backstory they used in this was completely new. They made it so that he was a pirate, which is not new to the series, but. 
they didn't really give a the explanation of why he's a pirate. Whereas in the comics, they, they normally had an explanation leading up to that. In this one, he was really um, a pirate alongside his father, which was which was new. We've never seen Aqua, uh, Black Manta's father before. So that was pretty interesting. So it was like a father-son type of pirate duo. And um, there was a lot of uh, father-son vibes throughout the whole, and legacy vibes throughout the whole series. I mean, not series, uh, movie. But uh, but yeah, I would say, just a side note, my favorite uh, Black Manta uh, story, background story, is when, and it's the first one in the 60s, where he's recruiting all the black people to go live underwater uh, to escape uh, racism in America. That, that, was, that was great writing. I don't care what anybody says. I knew they weren't going to put it in the movie because they're not going to racialize it, of course. But, you know, that's the best one. But um, they seemed, to, they had so many Black Manta backstories they could have used. I really don't know why they went this route. Uh, it's, it kind of reminds me of what they did with Killmonger and Black Panther, where they kind of just rewrote the whole character, but just kept the main themes there, uh, which I don't really have a great problem with, so long as they keep Aqualad, because I need to see Aqualad in these movies, hopefully if there's a sequel. Um, I was also glad that they had the Ocean Master um, story arc because Ocean Master is the next to Black Mance is the main villain in Aquaman. You have to have that. Um there was also a lot of history in this movie as well, which I really appreciated um too because I'm a personal history buff. The only thing is that it was fo mostly focused on uh Mediterranean history as far as Roman deities, you have Greek influence um, and you know what's funny? I know there's a lot of conspiracy theory videos on YouTube about like where Atlantis was, if it ever existed, and stuff like that. They actually went into that too, which was really cool about how Atlantis sunk and everything. Uh, and one thing I really did enjoy too was how they had um, a mix up of Jason Momoa's personal ancestry and culture in the movie. Because personally, I think Jason Momoa was probably one of the best people to play Aquaman because. I mean, hello, the dude's from Hawaii, you know what I mean? Like, physically, he, he's he's there, he has a long hair, he has a wild man thing going for him. You know, it was a, it was a no-brainer. But on top of that, like, um, you see a lot of um, indigenous Hawaiian, Polynesian culture within the movie, uh, even down to the fighting. You know, you have uh, Jason Momoa playing as Aquaman where he has a trident. And the dude's throwing his trident and doing certain moves that you would see like in a haka dance, you know, like he's throwing and he's like, ah, you know, screaming and stuff like that, doing the war cries and everything. You know, it, it was really cool. It was really sick to uh, to watch, you know, and um, me personally, I always respect that. I respect Jason Momoa for bringing that element to the movie because I know it was his idea, you know, um, me personally. Um, I love to see uh, Native ancestry, whether it be African or American, in movies, you know. Uh, and I've always had a personal connection to the water being, you know, Jamaican. I'm an island boy. And um, on top of that, I was born on Tuesday. For those who know, you know Tuesday is associated with water in, uh, in the Akan tradition in, in Ghana. And uh, so I, I, I definitely believe that. <laughs> But um, other than that, it was a great movie. I'm going to keep it short and not spoil it too much. Um, I really wish they, they kept more... No, I wish actually they, they spent more time on his childhood. They did a few flashbacks, but that's all we got. We only got like two or three clips of flashbacks from when he was a kid and then a little bit when he was a teenager uh, struggling with his identity. Uh, as a half Atlantean, half human, which I really personally connected with that um, with the character growing up, being half Jamaican, half American. Um, so I was really glad to have that in there. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this short. Uh, just my personal reaction rant, um, based off seeing it early. I I'm really glad I got to see it early. I'm definitely gonna see it again in a couple of days. Um, but definitely let me know your thoughts. Hopefully, when by the time I post this, the movie will be out. So. Share in the comment section, like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.